Yeah, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, just right off the bat, I just want to say thank you for all the support and the guides and the recent videos. I'm glad you're all enjoying them. And uh, if y'all, I'm probably, I'm not sure if I'll link it. We're not connected. What the? <laughs> I'll probably, uh, not sure if I'll be doing the Cyrax guy, to be honest, because that's the one character I haven't really played out of the DLC, to be honest with you. But I, uh, I might, I'm, I'll consider it. But let me get to what this video is about, because I'm sure you guys are wondering. Um, so this video is kind of a breakdown of Havoc. If you guys have, I mean, just been keeping up with, you know, the new MK update. Havoc is, well, let me just get, get off of that. Havoc is easily top three now, like, crazy broken. I think NRS over buffed him way too much. And I do want to kind of talk about that for a second. I feel like NRS has kind of, the way they've been going about buffing characters in this game has been kind of weird. I feel like some characters have been buffed in a good way, but... Um, when it comes to, like, characters like Natara and Havoc now, like, these characters are getting buffed way too... More so Natara than Havoc, because Havoc still does have a skill gap to play him, in a way. But Natara, the way they buffed her, I feel like they made her, like, way too... I, I feel like they made her way too scrubby, <laughs> like, the way she plays. Natara was always just a fly-around character, but they basically took that aspect of her and just said, okay, fly around now. And do whatever you want because <laughs> they made her ex dive kick safe while it still launches and her normal dive kick launches so it literally like the way they they're buffing and even havoc like you can kind of play like an idiot you know and win matches and then that's kind of been my problem with the top tiers in this game it's like if you guys watch my streams or tune in that's kind of what i talk about but uh like even homelander i feel like homelander is really like he's, he feels so scrubby to me <laughs> It, like the way the top tiers feel in this game is, or is most of them, if you're not, it doesn't really matter who's potting the character. It really just feels like the characters are just way too scrubby to play, or just way too. I'm not gonna say scrubby because I don't, I don't really like that using that word. It's just they're way too easy to play, and you don't really have to be crazy good with them just to be a threat, you know. Um, and they're doing a better job of balancing that, like you know, with the Tanya nerfs, the Kung Lao armor nerfs. But with every patch, I feel like something new comes, and now we got Havoc. So uh, <laughs> let me stray away from that. This is kind of a, it's not really a guide. It's kind of a breakdown on Havoc, because I'm sure a lot of you have heard Havoc is now top one. Sonic said it, and some of you might think, okay, Sonic always says characters are top tier. But Sonic, I've known Sonic. Sonic never commits to maining a character. And if you guys have been watching Sonic streams, he's literally playing Havoc. In every match <laughs> sonic never commits to maining a character unless they think that character is undoubtedly top one like you got the same case with homelander sandel sonic that's how this is how sonic uh you know be picking up characters and havoc unfortunately i think he definitely didn't need buffs i did agree he was bottom five but i feel like i never over buffed him way too much like and i'm gonna show you why like because when i show you everything there's no reason for anyone to downplay this character because I know some people are saying, no, he needs these buffs. He does not need any, like, he does not need most of these buffs. He does, he didn't need buffs. Um, not, not saying, uh, let me refer to that. Some people are going to be saying he needs it and you're going to see what I'm referring to. But no, he does not need what he does now. <laughs> he needed buffs for sure, but what he does now is just actually just absurd. Um, and I haven't even played against Sonic, but... I'm just watching it, and I can tell it's bro broken. Like, I can just tell. So, I'm going to just go over uh, what this character does now. So, right off the bat, let me just do a mini break on the Havoc. You guys know how Havoc works if you play MK1. He, uh, he has a good mid-string. He has a decent poke. Good projectile game. And his main game plan is to hit you. Right? And when he has two bars, puts his unblockable on you. And when he has this unblockable on you, detonate it with a full combo, right? So that, that's Havoc's main game plan. Now, this let me just start off the unblockable. The unblockable is fine because even though it's an unblockable, it requires two bars to do, and it has a you know it's balanced in a way because even though it's unblockable, as you can see the damage scales right. So if I just do a normal combo out, damage scales 17%. Now let me tell you why this character got over buffed. <laughs> So, the unblockable, this move, I feel like this move should have never been touched, because this move was, it's still cheap in its own way. But they buffed, so they buffed this move, 
and then also un unintentionally buffed it. So, what I mean by that is, they gave this move a new property, to where if you EX the next snap itself, as you know, if you well, if you play against Havoc, uh, the counter to this next snap is if you time at the same time that they do it, you can like punish them or armor out of it, right? So you do like this, for example. Homeland's armor isn't the best, but let's say I was Johnny Cage, I can shadow kick Havoc, and I'm out of I'm out of the unblockable. Now what they did is they took away the counter play, so not now you can't armor it. But if he spends a bar, it actually breaks your armor. So let's say, oh okay, I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> there goes my armor. So I just wasted a bar. Now you may be saying, okay, this is fair because he's spending a bar. Now, yeah, let's just say. As you see, he turns purple. Now, what this purple thing does? Havoc's inputs are reversed. Now, that might be, you know, like, when you're Havoc, it's like, if I if I do this move, and I do my inputs, and look, my inputs are reversed. You see that? I'm pressing back 2-2, two, two, and I'm getting forward 1. Now, that might be like, oh, damn, that's crazy. But, if you just spend an hour in the lab, or maybe less, 30 minutes, I don't know, whatever it is, you're going to learn what back 2-2 two, two is, like his normal combo route, you'll learn it, so... The, the reversing inputs thing is not really a big deal, because <laughs> you'll get used to it. it it's probably going to be annoying at first when you're playing Havoc. You know, you're going to be like, you do this, and you're going to, oh, I forgot my inputs. But obviously, the more you play, and the more you practice it, you'll get used to it. And you're you're like, okay, why, are, why is there reverse inputs? So the reason I said this move is balanced is because it scales his damage, right? So if I just do a uh, normal neck snap, and I put, you know, Havoc on Fatal Blow... Let's just do, uh, do this into Fatal Blow, right? So that does, you know, like I said, it's scale damage. So this does how much? Like you're going to see it does like, what, 25? Yeah, it's going to end up doing 25, 27, right? There you go. So that's not bad because he's spending two bars to hit you with unblockable. And he has to spend Fatal Blow to even get 25, 27. Um, now, let me just do this and let me EX it. And as as you can already tell, not only does this break armor, so there's no escape, it doesn't scale at all. All that scaling, the scaling that made this move balanced in the first place, is gone. Now you're, you might be saying, okay, well that's uh, <laughs> the reason I keep saying it is because this is how people defend this, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying these statements, and I'm gonna show you why it's not okay. <laughs> people may be saying, okay, but that's all three bars. What about if he has to use a bar for a combo? Um. So Havoc got two new specials. He got an overhead dive kick that launches, by the way, and is barely punishable from range. Minus 11 from there. Minus 10 from there, so good luck punishing it sometimes. And it's still just hard to punish in general. And they gave him a new sp uh, new launcher. It's a low, 17 frames. So now he has new combo routes. So let me just do a simple combo. Uh... Let me not do the combo part first. Let me just talk about Havoc in general. So, Havoc's strings have a lot of overheads in them. He has... His main strings have, like, overheads. So, 2-2 two -two is one of his main string. One of his main strings. This is minus 5 on block. And Havoc's will do this in case you get clipped. And this confirms, right? You get full combo here. Now, since this is a low launcher, now he can do stand to low. Now, this is not a real mix-up. It does a 3-frame fuzzy. And if you guys know what fuzzy is, a fuzzy is trying to block... Like low and overhead and sa at the same time. So you're basically fuzzy blocking. So if something is like, look, the low is 17 frames, right? And the overhead is 20 frames. So the overhead is slower. So while you're fuzzy, you're basically blocking low first and the overhead. So you're going from low to overhead. So fuzzy blocking is basically blocking two options in one block sequence based on, you know, the startup. So you could fuzzy this, but it's a three frame fuzzy, which means it's difficult. It's not easy to do. So if Havoc walks up to me and does that or does this, I have to block low. You see, I have to block low and then stand up. But let's say I get caught. Oh, I see stand two all overhead. I'm clipped. And then I'm like, oh, okay. He's doing the, the low. So you, you have to fuzzy. All reaction, by the way. And if you mess this up, because it's a reframe fuzzy, <laughs> you'll full combo launch right there. So Havoc will do 2-2 two, two into the, the ball and full combo. So yeah, good luck. So not only did they give him heart, and this, you know, he has this string as well. This is an easier fuzzy, but he can still hit you off of this. This also hits overhead. <laughs> and he gets to do it off that as well. So not only did they give him a new low launcher, 
which also has armor on it, by the way. Let me talk about his armor while we're at it. Um, as you guys know, Havoc's armor has four hits on it. But the weakness before is if Havoc did it in your face, you can like walk out on reaction. Yeah, not anymore. It's not as slow anymore, so. <laughs> Good luck trying to react jump. You're getting clipped. And he's getting a full combo. And if you don't, you know, this also eliminates most save jumps against him, so you can't save jump this character. And it's even harder to flog block, because it's faster. But not only, not only did they keep the four hits of armor on it, they made it faster. And if you're worried about that getting stuffed, now he has a new armor move that's 17 frames. So they gave him another armor. Um, and let me show you why why I was saying this is unblockable. Even the normal version got unintentionally buffed. Because if you think the EX, you know, not this not scaling is already BS. <laughs> let me show you why the normal one is, is BS. So with this new uh, low, he has new combo routes because this air string also got buffed as you can see it like pops them up in the air so let me just do his i guess his normal bmb and this is i don't even know if this is his normal bmb like his main optimal combo but this is just what i've been seeing right so if havoc opens you up or anything you do this a bottle scorpion whatever camera you're using into an ender and that's 40 meterless and if you look at the bottom left this is um, this is plus 48 on hit which means you know anytime you're plus 45 and above in this game you get a save jump <laughs> and off of this save jump he gets mixed double overhead or low which means you have to delay wake up against this character so they gave so let me just tally all these tools together real quick and i'll get to why they're all broken together he has a save jump now he has a low that you have to fuzzy, and he also has down one special now, so anytime this character down ones you, down four, whatever it is, you're trying to take your turn. Let's say I try to poke after this. I'm like, oh, he did down four. It's my turn. Yeah, you're getting launched. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. So now he has down one launcher mind games. He has hard to fuzzy mix. He has a jump. He has mix, by the way, like forward four to low or instant dive kick. So not only are you guessing right here, um... If he managed to hit you with this unblockable. And this is this is let me get to the argument why I said the whole three bars argument. Yeah, you have to use three bars to get the EX next snap. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh the reason Havoc is so broken out is because he has a TOD. Which touch of death. TOD stands for touch of death, which basically means the character can kill you in one or two sequences. Like literally guaranteed two sequences. So because you don't you don't have to spend bar on this character's combos anymore. See how much damage this does. That does how much? This is 46. That's three bars, right? And if I do the optimal, I can get 50 there. I'll try to find a clip of Sonic doing it so I can show y'all or any or wise, you know, uh, any havoc. Let me show y'all here. Hey, listen, beside the next touch, you are dead. So don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Oh my god, Shad, he's dead. <laughs> nope. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, that's what I mean by TOD. If you, if Kavik has three bars, and keep in mind, he doesn't have to spend bar, because... <laughs> look, if you just look at how much damage he's doing meterless, he does not have to spend bar anymore. And I can just spend one Movado, I can do the unblockable. And after that, you know what you have to do? Low. Guaranteed. This is plus... Oh, I'm not plus... A, that's plus 178. <laughs> and then he hits you for 40 and then 50, so you're taking 90%. And this is why this character is so broken. Because since he doesn't have to spend... Oh yeah, so, you might be saying, okay, this is another point people might be trying to bring up. He has to spend bar to even get damage. You can still do this. And since he has new combo routes, look at his damage. Twenty-six. Before he had to spend Fatal Blow to get twenty-six or twenty-nine. 
now since he has new combo routes because of this and this together he does <laughs> he gets so much <laughs> the damage I'd say the two main problems right now and why I think this character got overbuffed is definitely number one the damage he's hitting you for is insane like mirrorless and this is off any stream by the way like this this and if you get hit by this by the way neutral and he hits you yeah let's just just say goodbye to your health bar to be honest with you just say goodbye to your health bar at that point like it's been a good run <laughs> just, just save jump like it's just it's it's been a good run Th thanks for playing just say goodbye to your health bar so let's put it all together let's say homelander has one bar i'm gonna put him on one bar just so i can show you that's why I just care. I just <laughs> I want to show y'all. Cause I don't I, like I said. This is not really a guide. I just kind of wanna. I know a lot of people may be wondering. This is kind of a breakdown. Cause I wanna. I do wanna. If you guys like these type of videos, definitely let me know. I kind of wanna go over like characters. Some people don't understand why some characters are so strong. So if you guys definitely enjoy these type of videos, definitely let me know. Me just breaking down characters. So uh, let me show you what I mean. Oh, okay, I have to keep this at three bars, right? Damn, I can't. I can't just have Havoc on. Okay, let's say Homer had one bar. Man, I can't really do that. I can't put him on one bar. Okay, let's say you have one bar. You're not really going to build up three bars in one combo. So, let's say Homelander gets hit, right? You're like, oh, I'm Homelander. Not even Hom Homelander deserves to get TOD, by the way. Let me just say that right away. Homelander deserves to die off one touch. I hate this character. He's broken. He's brain dead. Get him out the game. Um, but let's say you're any other character, <laughs> right? You make a mistake. Oh, I woke up. I whiffed. Whatever. Let's just see what happens. Look at your health bar, okay? 1,000. Okay. Set him on block. Okay. 42, by the way. And then if I do this combo, which I showed you in the clip, that will do 45 to 50. You see his health? 47? Yeah, you just took 90 to 95%, and maybe even a thousand if you're really optimal. Off of one touch. And guess what? When he has this unblockable combo, if he doesn't spend fadeable, he gets a save jump. <laughs> that has mix on it. <laughs> and he also has some new things. Watch this. And this, uh, by the way, since I'm rocking Movado, let me show you what Movado gives him. Um, If you're just thinking, oh, well, at least he has to open you up with, it, with this. Keep in mind, you still have to fuzzy this. I talked about earlier, you still have to fuzzy all this. You have to fuzzy that. And if you're like, okay, that's fine. Remember, this character still has a 50-50 off his main string. So let's just do this. So, yeah, I don't know the optimal of this, but that does like 24-25. So guess what? You just took 25 off of that and 2. You guys, you guys already know. Unblockable. <laughs> And that, this will do like 45, right? Or 50? So you just took 75% off a 50-50 grab. And you're like, okay, well, what about if I duck the grab? Yeah, go over that. <laughs> Movado will convert that. So if I do... If I get hit by the low, which you can't uh, fuzzy this or anything. You, you have to armor it, which you can also bait because this is safe. Um, this is 19 frames. This is 19 frames. So good luck guessing. If you get hit by the low, yeah, let's just, uh, get by the health bar as well. That's 30 into unblockable. So, you see what I mean. And, <laughs> let me just add one more thing in there. This also works on normal grab. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you guys why this is so dumb. And then, yeah, I, like I said, I don't know the optimals, but that's 20 into unblockable. That's 50. You're taking 70%. So, imagine you just get grabbed. And you're guaranteed to take 75%. And, uh, yeah, so you guys, just based off all that info I just told you, um, maybe asking, okay, what's this character's weakness? Yeah, about that. There, there's, n there is none. He's way too broken. <laughs> he has a four hit armor move. It's faster now. He has a new armor move. He has hard to block 50 50s, or hard to fuzzy 50 50s. He has legit 50-50s with this and this. He has TODs, which means you get touched once, you die. He has great zoning still. Great pokes. Um, 
Don't jump on him either. Come on now. Like, come on. Come on now. Don't jump on him either. Oh, combos. Come on now. This is all. This is all for an entire, by the way. That's all for an entire. So <laughs> let's see you entire. Uh, bam, bam, bam. And then, okay, I don't know how to do this, but if that hits, you just gotta do this right away, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure you have to do that right away. But if that hits, that's what? It's 80% off it down to. Oh, let me. I forgot to mention one more thing. Not only can open you up with this, you know, that I mentioned, this mix up. The heart of fuzzy, which means you know, if you mess up your fuzzy, you're gonna kill by this overhead into 45 into you know that, or just this <laughs> same thing. Um, he can also combo off his sweep. So let's say you're just playing neutral, he hits you with that. Which, by the way, that is safe on block, but hella range. Guess what? <laughs> I can't stress to you guys how dumb this character is. The amount of the amount of ways you can get opened up. Okay, I cannot do that to save my life. But um, the amount of ways you get opened up from this character. Oh, look at that. That's all, this is off a sweep, by the way, chat. Off a sweep. Do that. Do the optimal. That's what 45, 50, because it's including fadeable. You just took 80 to 85 percent off of a sweep. So you guys see what I mean? The character will always have three bars, you know why? Because he doesn't have to spend bar. There's nothing with this character that has to spend bar. And if he does feel like spending a bar, he has a four hit armor can he move. And a fast low armor. So if he does want to spend bar at all, you can also do stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, good luck, buddy. That's a full combo right there, by the way, chat. I can hit it. <laughs> Okay, well, you get the point. That works. <laughs> but you get the full combo off that, and then you can also do, you know. Damn, you got hit again? That's crazy. And, uh, yeah, this is the problem with the character. And I'll be honest, right now, if you're asking my, my, my top three, I had Homelander number one, Sindel number two, and, like, Tanya number three pre patch, but obviously Tanya got nerfed. I think right now it's probably, like, with, with all these tools that Havoc do has and his ability to literally two touch you to death. Every single game, and trust me, if you fight a good Havoc, it's gonna happen, like... Just... I'm telling you, Sonic would not pick up a character if, if... Or main a character if they didn't think... That character was definite top one, like... And, uh, based on all these tools I'm showing you, like, you can't... I brought up all those theoretical questions, because people will try to downplay, but you can't. You just cannot downplay it. <laughs> the character has a TOD, he has Heart of Fuzzy Mix... He has 70 ways to open you up, and all those ways to open you up lead to... Minimum 70%. And, um... Yeah, it's just... This is what I mean, they overbuffed it. So if you're asking me how to keep this character strong, because, like I said, he didn't need some buffs, but they, they, they did way too much. If you're asking me how to normalize this character, first thing that needs to change, the damage. This man should not be doing... How much does he get? Mirrorless? I'm gonna do this. Like 43% mirrorless into a save jump. So character should not be doing 43% raw. Second, remove this. Like, just. <laughs> I don't know. The, the reason this move was balanced in the first place was because even if it was unblockable and you could not do anything to get out of it sometimes, at least he scaled his damage. If they want to keep. The, like, I'm completely fine if they want to keep. Like, if they want to keep him EXing to break your armor. I'm fine with that. Like, I'm completely fine with that. Because he'll still get, like... You know, he'll still get his 25 to 30 with Fatal Blow damage. Like, he'll still get that. But, remove... Like, you gotta add... Keep the normal scaling on it. Like, like even if I EX and break your armor, it should have this type of scaling on it. It's like, Havoc's one weakness with that move was... There was scaling. And they took away the scaling. <laughs> like, they took away the one thing that balanced Havoc in a way. But, um, now he has that, he has, like I said, he has mix. Also, make this more punishable, brother, like, an instant dive kick that launches you. Look how far his leg goes, for God's sakes. Like, come on now. That's minus 12 from there. Unreactable. And look how much gravity there is. So, 
I go over. <laughs> so, I mean, that's 35 into unblockable into next snap. And you just took 80% off a dive kick that hit you from here, by the way. And is kind of safe in a way. Like, and you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna get hit by that. Well, guess what? Bam. <laughs> Same situation. And that's yeah, that's grab. Yeah, unblockable. And that's 92, 95. So yeah, this character definitely needs some sort of changes. I definitely think he's probably top one now. And if it's, if he's not top one by some sort of way, it's definitely Homelander. Also, nerf Homelander, by the way. I can make if you guys want me to make a breakdown of why Homelander is so broken as well. Like like I said, if you enjoy these type of videos, it's something new. It's not really just like the typical guide or matches. It's just uh, it's kind of a breakdown. If you guys enjoy these type of breakdowns, you want me to go over why Homelander is insanely broken and why how I think he should be changed. If you let me know, but I kind of want to do a breakdown of Havoc. Like I said, I'm not going to really do a guide on him because I don't know how to play him like that. If I had to do a guide, I'd have to ask Wise or Sonic <laughs> like um, how to play this character because I don't play him. But you see, even with me not knowing how to play him, you, you just see what I'm doing with the character, right? So imagine if you did learn the character. So um, yeah, that's kind of my breakdown of Havoc. This character definitely needs some changes. And just to reiterate, damage nerf 100%. He needs one because <laughs> him hitting 40, 45 mirrorless is insane. He never has to spend bar for damage. And the second thing is, like, add back the scaling of the unblockable. There's no reason why this move should be unblockable, breaks armor, and hasn't have no scaling at the same time. Like, that is, it's it's just crazy to me that they even added that in the first place, to be honest with you. That's just, that's kind of what's crazy. Um, But yeah, if you try to downplay this character, I kind of just gave you 50 reasons of why you can't. So good luck. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. And with that, I'm going to end the video. Like I said, if you enjoy these type of videos, definitely let me know. Thank you guys for all the support recently. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy. Stay safe. And stop by the streams on Twitch, by the way. Appreciate y'all, man. Have a great day. Stay safe. Peace.